What is up guys, Daddy's here. In today's video, we are talking about Kylie Jenner and how she's basically become a billionaire through leveraging well her social media and stuff, but because she's using Shopify to basically host her beauty products, okay? So what I wanna talk about is basically, you know, what she's doing, looking at some of the stats, looking at her website, looking at what she's using behind her website, just to give a little idea of how she's actually generated over 650 million. I believe it's even more than that. We'll look at the article right here. But basically guys, she's literally about to be or already is a billionaire, primarily because of selling products online through social media, okay? Now, why is that important? Well, one, it's because social media, again, it's it's a very new tool. Um, you know, it's been around for, for a little bit, right? But it's still a fairly new idea of just, you know, having, having you know, this sort of following that's also your customers that you can leverage and sell things to consistently, right? And that's what Kylie does very, very well. So we're gonna take a look right here. We're actually gonna start the screen, the screen capture. All right, so we are on Forbes right now. And as you can see, this article is basically um, up Updated or you know um, uploaded just a day or two ago, um, basically saying how she's going to become the youngest billionaire um, to date. Okay, she's surpassed Mark Zuckerberg, Evan Spiegel from Snapchat, all of these guys because she's leveraged her fame very, very, very well. So um, you guys can read the article for yourself. Um, just a quick Google search, but basically, right? I think this is this is weird. So she she launched Kylie Cosmetics, right? Which is her Shopify store selling makeup products, okay? She launched with a $29 lip kit right here. Since then has sold more than $630 million worth of makeup, okay? 330 million of that being in 2017. Um, you know, they're accounting for a standard 20% discount via, you know, email, coupons, all this kind of stuff that Again, marketing, she can offer to her social media fan base, okay? Uh, one thing I do wanna point out, right? So again, we're gonna look at all this stuff, but this is her Facebook page, okay? As you can see, um, they have a new line of cosmetics coming out tomorrow, but if you go to info and ads, right, with this new Facebook update, there's no ads being targeted to, to at least me, okay? I'm in the United States, I'm in Washington State, there's no ads being shown to me, okay? Or at least me being targeted, okay? And that one is because I'm a guy. Um, but again, as you guys can see, she's leveraging her social media audience very, very well. What do I mean by that? Her Instagram and her Snapchat. She is always, always, always posting on that stuff, okay? So if we go to her website here, okay? So again, so this is her website, kyliecosmetics.com, all right? We'll go here and use one of these plugins that I have to basically show us, you know, to give us a little bit more info about this site. So. Kylie Cosmetics estimated revenue last week, seven hundred thousand dollars last week. Estimated units sold thirty thousand plus. So, last product was created June eleventh. Okay, so very very recently. All right, and as you guys can see, um, there's there's stats here. I think this is monthly or weekly or something like that. Um, sales over eighteen thousand dollars of just this one with over one hundred seventy five units sold. So yeah, there's there's we can pull a lot of data from here, guys. So we can even look at the app she's using on her store, on her Shopify store. So again, guys, this is a Shopify store. So you know, with what with what I do, with what a lot of you guys that follow me do, right? We drop ship, which uses Shopify, which uses the apps in here that you guys can literally use and copy. Because um, obviously she's doing something right. She just has a very very large fan base to market it to. She just needs a proper platform. So again, if you guys are drop shipping, which isn't exactly what Kylie's doing, right? So she's obviously worked with suppliers to create her own brand, her own line. In a way, it's private labeling, just a little bit more customized and a lot more, um, I assume, quality. What she's doing, guys, is basically what we do, drop shipping, where she has a Shopify site, okay? She has products and she ships it to customers. Now, with drop shipping, we don't touch that product. Now, with her, she obviously has warehouses, product, all this kind of stuff, but guys, we can see the apps that she's literally using. So again, for email marketing, Klaviyo, okay, there's a few other things, um, tools, Hotjar, reporting, mixed messages just for analytics, stuff like that. So again, she doesn't, she doesn't have a whole lot of actual apps. So um, I'm guessing most of her site is custom. I mean, even here for the theme, um, production one dash edit. So that's the theme she's using. I'm guessing it's just a customized um, theme tailored to just whatever she wants. Now again, if you click here on traffic, guys, as you can see month by month, she's consistently generating over a million views um, to her website per month, okay? And again, where is that coming from? So a lot of it, direct, social, and search. So as you can see, ads, you guys, look at, look at this, ads, paid ads. Not even 1% of her traffic comes from paid ads. So again, going back to her Facebook page and seeing that there's no ads to show, again, I'm, I'm certain she's running ads, okay? Um, just probably not to me, 
But again, most of her traffic and audience guys comes from her giant social media following. So if we go to Instagram, okay, and we go Kylie Jenner right here, all right, and we calculate how many followers. So she has 111 million followers, guys, okay? 111 million followers. She's generated over $900 million using her 111 million followers. That's just on Instagram, okay? I'm assuming there's a lot that are cross-platform mixed with between Snapchat, Twitter, all this stuff. But again, that is her audience, guys. She's leveraging that to basically have every single, or to basically, you know, 9x, um, probably 10x of followers she has to the amount of revenue she's generating, okay, guys? And that's just with... Shopify, okay? Shopify products, okay? So again, with this Forbes article, it says that really she's only garnered, what, 60 million in uh, what endorsements, stuff like that, but most of her revenue, most of her you know, money comes from her own brand. So like her older sister, Kim Kardashian West, whatever her name is, um, her, her work, she's only worth 350 million, okay? Now, Kylie here is almost worth a billion or probably, guys, as you guys, <laughs> as you guys can see, this is her site. We're running a few, um, you know, just looking at this this kind of stuff um, to just get an idea of what she's doing back end wise. And again, guys, there's there's not there's not a whole lot different than what you know we do. What I try and show you guys how to do. The only difference, right, is again she has a very very large following. So again, that's why influencer marketing can be very lucrative if you know how to do it right and aren't using weird influencers that you know are fake and not you know not real. Um, and then you know leveraging ads and creating an actual platform to sell things on. So again, guys, this is why social media and everything else is just so lucrative right now. But yeah, so going back to you know products and whatnot. So as you can see, she launched a whole bunch of products in May, or at least you know towards the end of May. Um, and then tag wise, right? Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, liquid lipstick, lip liner, lip kit, um, stuff like that. And if we actually go to best selling here, it's actually gonna click. Um, just because if you guys don't know, there's a way for your Shopify stores most of the time for most stores You can actually type in a certain URL that'll take you to that site's best-selling product So again, we're on their website basically and it's gonna show us in order her best-selling products So again guys she launched with her lip kit. So these lip kits are still her best-selling products again They're not priced too high. She has a lot of other higher ticket items on her website But these $20 products are the ones that are selling the most and then it goes to um, lip gloss. I don't even know the difference between lip gloss and lip kit. Um, but guys, again, this is, this is just kind of like a breakdown of like, okay, she's very popular on social media. She's leveraging her social media following and creating, you know, like her, her followers are becoming her customers, right? She's using that to sell them products that they would want. So that's how she's converting them to customers. And she owns a hundred percent of Kylie cosmetics guys. Kylie Jenner is a 100% basically shareholder of Kylie Cosmetics. Okay, so all that money she's making goes to her and you know, if she's actually like hiring out anyone, but I don't think anyone else really has equity um, in that. But guys, this is just, again, I just wanna break this down for you guys because it, it's, it's ridiculous, the power of social media, the power of advertising these days, the power of the internet and what you can do, okay? So guys, the, the three youngest billionaires ever made, okay? Kylie Jenner, Mark Zuckerberg, Evan Spiegel, all three of those guys became billionaires through social media, okay? Two of them made social media apps, all right? And then Kylie here is leveraging the power of social media to sell to her followers, okay guys? So again, I just wanna break that down for you guys and get that in your guys' head. So if you guys can master advertising, if you guys can master influencer marketing, um, I think that there's a very strong difference between both. And eventually, I think you always want to go to at least advertising if you don't have a giant following um, like Kylie does. But again guys, if you can master those two, you can make a lot of money online, okay? Think about it. There are so many different makeups and lip kits, lipsticks, lip gloss, or whatever you want to call it. There's so many out there, right? And again, if if you're a girl and you know, mo mo I'm assuming most girls have you know multiple lipsticks or lip glosses and, and stuff like that, right? So again, when you're drop shipping, right? When you're drop shipping products, again, I drop ship men's fashion stuff. Like I would drop ship rings, necklaces, hats, shades, stuff like that, guys. I would sell that online on my own stores. People usually had more than one of those items, right? So you usually don't only have one hat if you like hats. You, you don't usually only have one pair of shades if you are frequently looking at shades, if you're interested in shades or interested in fashion, right? You usually have more than one of those objects. So again, she's capitalized by one, having multiple variants of everything, okay? And she's not selling something that's that's just way out there. She's, she's leveraging herself, 
okay? She's always posting on Instagram, always posting on Snapchat, always doing this to promote her brand. And obviously it's <laughs> it's working, guys. So again, I just wanna do a really quick rundown. If you guys are wondering, the basically the, the tool I'm using, right, to get the stats for the Shopify, Shopify page, it's called Commerce Inspector, guys. Um, it's, it's kind of expensive, but it does give very, very good info. Um, again, you can use this for a bunch of stuff. So movement watches, I'm sure you guys are familiar with. Um, if you're in sort of the fashion sphere of things, but we can run um, some data on them, uh, let Commerce Inspector do its thing. Um, you just gotta subscribe. So again, I'm not subscribed to these guys just cause I'm not selling watches currently. Um, and I just subscribed to the Kylie site so you guys could see, but basically guys, that is Commerce Inspector. You can Google it. There might be a link in the description, not sure, but I just wanna give a quick rundown to show you guys like this is the power of social media now. I think this is why most of you guys, especially that want to get into business or want to get into entrepreneurship should start right now today, okay? Social media is booming. Advertising, marketing, it's only going to get more saturated the longer you wait, okay? More people like yourself, like me, are entering the advertising space, okay? What does that mean? Facebook, Google, Snapchat, they all are like bidding, right? You're bidding against other marketers to have your ad shown to people, right? That's why it costs a certain amount to get your ad shown, okay? With more people hop on the platform to advertise their stuff, it means the cost is going to increase. So slowly but surely, it's gonna get more expensive to advertise on these platform guys. So again, that's why it's very, very lucrative right now to start this and actually learn marketing, get good at it. That's why dropshipping, because it's cost to actually enter this industry is so, so, so lucrative right now, guys. So that's why I want you guys to get started. If this is not something to at least push you in that direction, I don't know what is, um, just cause again, this was all through social media. This is all through stuff that literally you can do right now. Um, obviously at, at this scale, it's gonna take a lot of time. But again, She's, she's a billionaire, okay? An extra 10,000 a month, an extra 20,000 a month, an extra you know, 5K a week, stuff like that, guys. That's nothing compared to what's actually going on every single day on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So five, 10, 20K a week, 20K a month, all that kind of stuff, guys, that's not a lot of money in the scheme of things, and that's very, very, very doable, guys. You just gotta broaden your mindset, broaden your horizons, and you'll soon realize it's doable, okay? So again, ads, influencer marketing. Get good at those two. Learn how to create a actual good website. If you don't know how to make a website, there is, um, there, there's agencies you can you can use. I have a link in the description for the one that I prefer. Um, stuff like that, guys. So again, that's the video. I don't wanna make it too long uh, or too repetitive or anything like that. I just wanted to break this down for you guys, give you guys some insight on that. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, leave a comment. I respond to everybody's comments. Don't forget to drop questions or whatever you guys got. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are back, we are doing videos. I haven't uploaded in like 10, 12 days just because I've been in Hawaii with Sebastian. I jumped out of a helicopter into shark infested ocean um, into a bay. That was scary, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Um, I don't even know if you guys care. So that's, that's the deal guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, the whole entire course guys is actually going under a huge, huge, huge revamp. Um, it might be going up, I'm not entirely sure, but now's the time to get it if you haven't hopped in yet. Um, it's doing a huge revamp, I'm actually like, I'm. I'm I can't, I can't say everything that's happening right now. I want to, but you guys will see very, very soon what I've got planned, what I got cooking for you guys. It's a bunch of free value going on. There's, there's the course. There's a bunch of stuff that I got cooking. So hopefully, guys, you guys will you know be around for that. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.